Hey everyone, I don't know if you're lucky enough to have a big room where you can paint, but if you're anything like me, your room is kind of small. Well, mine is decent, it's 10 square meters. It's decent, but it's kind of small. So once you start having a lot of paintings all over the place with a lot of material, things can get pretty messy. So I recently reorganized everything. So let me show you how I did. All right, so let's start here. This is my rack, my painting rack, that I, I where I store my paintings. Not all of my paintings, but the most recent ones. And uh, this is a rack that I picked at, at a hardware store. I removed all the shelves that were here, and instead I, I did some, some compartments with uh, wooden boards. So I don't necessarily have just one compartment for one painting. I stack them sometimes. Just what's important is that they do not completely touch, that they have such an angle like this. As you can see, I removed this, this bottom shelf here so that I can take all the dust and the dust will not collect right here. This is my desk where I edit most of my videos and this is where I keep my brushes and this is where I keep my acrylic in gouache paint and I have some books right here and what are, what are you doing here? So I do not keep my, um, my oil painting products here just the acrylic I prefer because I spend a lot of time working on videos right here on my computer Okay, so this is my easel and palette For those who remember my previous setup I had a much larger palette but I didn't have enough room for my big palette surface. So it's kind of a shame that I had to get rid of it. So I went back to a small size palette. So the space that I, that I lost horizontally, I took vertically and I added this tablet, which is kind of heavy. Right here is where I keep my, my paper towel because I hate having to hold my rags and paper towels in my hand all the time to clean my brushes when I paint because eventually your hands get all dirty and full of oil so I just put it right here with this little clamp and it works perfectly right there I have my brush holder and uh, here I have some studies my paints here and palette knives this is still my jar of solvent where I can clean my brushes eventually when it gets too dirty, when the pigments all rest in the bottom I can take the solvent out because it's, it's clear scrub the, scrub the pigments and just refresh the solvent with new, with new clean solvent it's, don't never have to to throw that in the drain or anything because it's a it's a glass palette makes it very easy to just clean with window cleaner so I have this right here and this is a plastic film a roll of plastic film that I have if I ever need to cover the palette to keep the paint fresh for uh, when I want to keep my paint overnight so this is the other corner where I can keep my computer it's not made for computer it's more made for a plaster cast or a still life setup, but I can keep my computer while I'm still not working on it. And as you can see, it's made for it's optimized for streaming, so I, I have my camera on the articulated arm around around there, and I have a a secondary easel where I can hold things temporarily. I store a lot of drawing material medium jars, all sorts of things under these shelves. Here I created a space with a small chair where I can relax. I spend a lot of time in my studio so it's always a good thing that you can um, have a spot where you can just relax and it's even better if you have a view on your painting. So I can look at my painting and 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 look for what is wrong and what I should do next. 
And this is also a place that, that, that's appreciated by my wife because she likes hanging out with me in the studio, have a cup of tea or whatever. And um, this is my air purifier. It doesn't really work for solvent fumes, but it works for dust, so I sometimes uh, would use it if I have a lot of dust in my studio. And this is a compartment where I can stack all my drawing boards and my portfolios. Uh, it looks just like pieces of cardboards, but it's actually homemade, homemade portfolios that I created to hold all my drawings. And yeah, here, I always have a mirror on the back of my painting so that I can turn around and look at my painting in another direction. All right, guys, that's the end of the tour. I only have a limited amount of space, so there's nothing more to show you. I still have a relatively small room. So tell me, where do you paint? Do you have a room dedicated to painting? Do you paint in your living room? How big is your place and how do you keep things organized? Let, let us know in the comment section below. Guys, follow me on Facebook if you want to know when the streams will start back. It's going to be pretty soon. I'm still currently working on my super secret project. I still have a lot of work to do, but it's coming on really well and I'm pretty excited. It's going to be awesome. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, have fun painting.